so good timing. These two hyena have watched the other three cheetah move off and they've decided that two on two is going to be a more likely scenario for them. Oh, they're still not convinced. They're still keeping an eye on the other cheetah, but the fact that these cheetah now are all alone means that they have fed enough and it's just not worth it. Now let's watch these hyena go to business. We'll catch up with the cheetah a bit later. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of vehicles with that stay with them. So let's see what these hyenas do here. They can dismember these carcasses incredibly easily. And I always find it fascinating how quickly they can chew their way through what can be some fairly large bones and chunks of flesh and skin. They're taking their time, saying grace before breakfast. <laughs> Where are you planning on taking that to? Surely it would make more sense to eat it there. <laughs> yes, Justin, um, you've commented that there's hardly any meat left on this wildebeest and they made short work of it only leaving the parts that are tricky to get to or too big and bony but there's still quite a lot of meat on the neck that's one area that they didn't really feed on but they definitely made the most of all of the limbs um, the great thing is is that whatever these hyena can't get to the vultures will eventually get to so there's a great system of everything usually I guess being cleaned up at the moment there's just so much food around some carcasses are not as clean as they ordinarily would be but these hyenas now are doing their bit taking over from the cheetah to make sure that this wildebeest gets fully processed and yes Teresa like you say nothing goes to waste out here in nature so that's the good news obviously sad for that wildebeest this other hyena's found what looks to be some possibly intestines that it's taking along to add to the picnic. Okay, well, I'm glad we got to see what ordinarily would have possibly happened earlier on. In